the hollow or the hallow? How, how, how are we saying this, gentlemen? I think it's, I think it's hallow. hallow. I think it's yeah. hallow as well. I think so as well. Um, a family who moved into a remote mill house in Ireland finds themselves in a fight for survival with demonic creatures living in the woods. Directed by Corin Hardy, uh, who followed this film up with 2018's The Nun. Uh, written by Corin Hardy, Felipe Marino, and Tom DeVille. Jason, do you have more information on this? Tagline, Nature Has a Dark Side. Distributed by Entertainment One and on Blu-ray through Scream Factory 2016. And it's also on Shudder. Um, probably everywhere. Probably Tubi probably has it. I don't think so. Yeah, they do. Do yeah, they Amazon. Do. Mm-hmm. Every time I watch something on Shutter, I want it to be exclusive to Shutter. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already paying for it. What if I'm paying for it? It should be exclusive. It should be <laughs> a higher echelon. Um, but you use Shutter Plus. Oh, do they have a, a plus the version? Exclusive. It's exclusive. Oh yeah, behind the uh, do- uh, back uh, door. <laughs> Um, he's already said it. too much <laughs> <laughs> God. somebody's gonna be yeah, banging on your door and we're gonna uh, lose our lose sponsorship our we can't bring up anything from other shutter than, well we got Tubi. we can't mention anything yeah, else the <laughs> <laughs> uh, my initial thoughts uh from the first 10 minutes of this was this is too pretty and too pristine for my taste like normally i don't like shit that's shot like this and the cinematography that's all like polished and fucking um you know slick uh, good <laughs> uh hollywood i guess you say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of scrims and fucking big moving shots beautiful Fake landscapes lit just right <laughs> yeah a lot of money pointlessly yeah, yeah. wasted <laughs> uh, the pacing is fine but nothing really happens for the first half of the film and then some really interesting stuff happens to the male lead character. Um, he opens up his hood and the, uh, these black shit on the engine hood hits him, wakes up in the trunk, baby screaming, monsters shaking the car. He has to cl- crawl through the fucking seat to get to his child to save it. And he doesn't tell his wife at all about that. <laughs> they share a car. Listen, dude, if I fucking do anything to our car, and I don't tell her. <laughs> you imagine, there's like a claw marks what in the side. In the back seat? Well, I would first of all want to tell somebody what happened, <laughs> like immediately. Like, yeah, so I, uh, you know, I just got hit in the head with the hood, and then I'm fucking in the trunk, and I have to dig my goddamn way to the child. <laughs> like, I would tell everybody. I'd be calling everybody, all you guys. Um, <laughs> he, did, he did have a real strong stance of not being intimidated he was just there for a job i didn't quite get why he was so uh, i don't know all that they, stuff starts happening if people don't want me there i'm going i'm calling my boss that they don't they don't want me yeah. here i couldn't understand anything that was going on with either one of these characters i couldn't understand their relationship or anything really they don't really develop or give you any reason to give a shit about them um I thought the creatures looked really cool. Um, They were effective. Uh, The writing was seemingly focused on action and not really dialogue. Like there's not much that goes on between these two people. Like I said, he doesn't tell her the most interesting guy. I'm constantly (laughs) looking for shit to talk about, you know, it's a normal uh, day. Same old, have a thing to say, you know, (laughs) generally don't have much that goes on in the day to have a thing happen is really a talking point, but not to mention um, one of the most memorable scenes in this movie is uh, when the, the, that dude is trying to kick the generator on and uh, his wife is in the attic it's really intense like there's this claw coming through and it's going to stab her in the eye and uh i really intense until they make the bad decision of pulling the camera back and you see that that woman could have just got the fuck up the whole time like like that thing (laughs) wasn't going to go in her eye she could have just put her foot on it stood up you know what solve a problem i think she was terrified well, in those search, it's you know, fight or flight. What are you going to do? You're going to get your eyes stabbed. Or you're going to stand up. <laughs> Wasn't she holding the bed against the door? She was holding the the board down to the the open the opening to the attic with her hands, right? 
Is that what was going on? That's what it looked like to me. And the hand was I coming so. up. I can't remember. I, don't know. I do like the vibe of this film. I just wish they would have fleshed out the characters in some way. It's it's been a while since I watched something that was so middle of the road, though, for me. Um, nothing much happens. It would have been better as a short film. Um, and if they would have got rid of the changeling thing, the whole baby aspect of it, get rid of that completely. I don't like that ever when any movie does it. And this baby at the end looks like uh, the baby from Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. If you bought it from Wish, like it doesn't even look that mm. good. It's not. I mean, it's rough. Um, and I did. You know, I did do this in one session, but I did kind of doze off a couple times. So it's a four out of 10 for me. Um, Jason, maybe you need a CPAP. <laughs> maybe I need to watch exciting things. <laughs> uh, uh, so we, we got a, a UK creature feature. Um, I, and when, uh, so I picked this one. I thought it was a, a blind pick. Ended up, I've already seen it before. But even going into this, I thought it was going to be more demonic than it was creatures. So, but whatever. I, I like creature features, so it worked out just fine. Um, I like the story for the most part, but it gets a little goofy. I don't need these creatures to want to have a family and have a, have a baby. Like, I'm fine with just like the the folklore there just these things that kill babies if you trespass i'm simple just keep it that i would i would i would have been good with that um but shot shot well looks really good the film locations are great I, ireland is beautiful um practical effects look good they mixed in some cg and for the most part i think that that looked all right um not gonna wow you but i, I think they I think it's a well done creature feature. Um, I think it would, I think it would make a good double feature with the burrowers because these creatures mm, reminded yeah, me of, of those similar, things. Yeah. Real, real low to the ground, and mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I'd pick it up for the right price. I gave it a six. John, John, yeah, this was. Uh, I never saw this before. Um, I'm down with a UK creature feature. Um, I, I got to give the production team props. They did their research on that fungus and they credited the guy that did that, <laughs> that did it. Mm. Uh, he was fungal research advisor. So they went like all in on <laughs> authenticity. Now I don't know all about folklore uh, of Ireland and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I liked what they did with this story. I love that they these creatures were there before humans. And then the humans just kind of like, you know, took over and pushed them into the shadows and all that kind of stuff. It was a kind of a bummer. But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> They're going <laughs> to take our babies and all that kind of stuff now. Um, I love the scenery. See, and I, I love all the things you hated, Frank. It's not that I don't like scenery, but what the fuck are we doing here? A nature documentary, or am I watching a horror movie? Get to nah, it. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that shot. Fuck. Yeah, good. Yeah. It's like it's, it's awesome. like the equivalent of those guys yeah, that get really those guys yeah. that I do really, too. Really I, I like it over a lot. trains and shit. Have you ever seen those guys that like yell at trains? It's like that's what I'm looking at. It's like what the fuck? Let's get to the. Give me a people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, put some people in it. <laughs> put some damn people. <laughs> people um, trees. <laughs> I forgot about the bur the burrowers. I only seen that movie once, but these creatures put me in the mindset of uh, the descent. Not the same. I'm talking like same ballpark. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like right. really cool performances of the people in the suits when there were people in the suits. CG. I mean, it's 20, it's 2015. It is what it is. They use it sparingly. A couple times they showcase that dude's eyes a little bit too long. <laughs> it's like, oh, holy shit. Okay, that's that's an animation cell on his face. Um but other than that, I really like the special effects a lot. The creature design was awesome. And I just got to say again, the performances of the creatures. Um, 
I said, uh, what did I say here? The green. Oh, yeah. The, the green screenshot of him beheading the Cora. Um, hollow. Hilarious. It looked so funny. Um, it was a really good story. I like the acting a lot. You know, another thing that I thought I thought the characters were fine. I think the dude was there to take pictures he was or marking the, the trees. Company? Was no, he, he was the mar- marker or was he? Yeah, he was marking oh. the trees that had the fungus for the, the logging company. At least that's what I understood. So Okay. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I just knew he was out there doing something for the logging company. I couldn't remember. Yeah, the what. ones that had that fungus growing on it because they didn't want them. <clears throat> right. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. All right. But yeah, I um I enjoyed this one. I actually had to watch it twice. Because I only got like halfway through the first time because I was like doing something. Watched it again. Really cool story. I love all the the scenery, the set, the uh, that book. That book was cool. I really liked I really liked that 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 book and told Mm -hmm. about the changelings and all about them and stuff like that. I feel like I I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel or even like a prequel oh, it left yeah. it open for personally yeah. i thought that would that would be really cool um but yeah i'm gonna give this one probably a seven i really i really enjoyed it it was a good watch nice i'm with you guys uh i i thought it this is my wheelhouse frank you know it <laughs> mm-hmm. it's got it's it's beautiful <laughs> It's got a lot, a lot of stuff I like. The creature feature aspect was amazing. The, uh, like John said, the um, mythology was really well developed. Mm -hmm. The characters were just there to do their job, and I didn't really mind that we didn't delve too much into it. I just wanted some relationship between them because, like, it didn't. You couldn't get. I said their relationship was bad, (laughs) but it wasn't even bad enough to be bad. Like there was, they didn't lean in either way. It was just like we're (laughs) two people here. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. but the other thing i did like i like the neighbor guy trying to get them to to leave by you know doing the old school you know throwing bricks through their window and scaring them mm-hmm. off he was trying his best to so the shit that happened to him wouldn't happen to them don't you and, love it when they have characters like that in movies that are just like really yeah. a, like protective of an area or something like they just don't want <laughs> right yeah and uh but i'm with you the the i'm sorry go ahead did somebody say so? I'm sorry. Well, anyways, I, I was saying the uh, the creatures look great. I thought the special effects were really good. Um, the uh, baby at the end, I know you said you didn't like it. I was blown away. They actually showed something like that. I was sitting there like, what the fuck? You know, like this thing's face yeah. is just melding in. And I was like, oh, okay. Wasn't expecting to see that, but all right. <laughs> um, again, this is the kind of thing I love. A Jason, good pick. Seven out of ten for me. Two thumbs up. Way up, <laughs> Rob. I, I really dig a good creature feature, and so when I first saw, saw this movie, it's like I kind of avoided it for a while because I always thought the, the artwork looked cheesy. So I was like, it's going with this creep, you know, one of those weird CGI movies. But um, it was actually um, I was I was impressed with the special effects. I I enjoyed it. Um, the characters were, yeah, well, you know not really too too much too, they didn't really stand to stand out too much from other horror film characters you know what nothing really super special but um story-wise it was i know it was it was pretty decent it was decent it was fun it was like it was a nice popcorn flick you know it's like one of those films that you you watch you have fun and then you go on to another movie um but yeah it was it was pretty it was pretty cool i was expecting um something it was a lot better than i was expecting it to be yeah <laughs> um on a scale of one to ten i would probably give this film uh, probably like a 6.5 wow you guys are all being very generous to this movie <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to preface it by saying i i've been watching a ton of full core trying to get through seven subpar box that they just released so I don't like full core. I've decided that. Neither do I. (laughs) (laughs) Um, This movie was, it looks beautiful. 
I mean, it's just, it's, it's a beautifully shot movie. Story-wise, it fucking sucks. It's so fucking contrived. Especially where he, when the, the danger the baby's in, by the time the day baby's in actual danger, I didn't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so the writing just the writing just killed me. Um it it dragged on. It could have been 35 minutes shorter. And maybe that could have saved the movie, but <laughs> I, I I don't like anything about this film. So seven out of ten? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's approved. It's I'm giving it a zero. Whoa! Nice. God, come on. Once again, I'm a little disappointed. I'm giving it a zero. This sort of thing ain't my bank, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know. Well, I mean, can I just interject? You didn't. There wasn't one thing that you could say to give it at least a one. Like not, not one thing in the entire. You said it looks pretty. You said it looks pretty. (laughs) It's one point. But, but I, I, I wasn't entertained by it. I, I was annoyed. And hey. the, the, the annoyance started with the first uh, fake out with the baby when the parents are downstairs and the door shuts. And they're all panicked. You get out a second later and nothing's wrong. It's like, this is, this is, this is false tension that you just put us through. <laughs> yeah. If I was a filmmaker, I can't trust you because... That first scare didn't lead to anything. Well, a lot of movies are like that. Set up. Oh, like it was that. them trying yeah. to run them off. It wasn't. It wasn't good. It was not good. And I had to watch this movie in three parts. Oh wow! Like, uh, yesterday. Uh, now I, I I think that see my I think a lot of our barometer is a little bit flawed because we watched the streets run red. And that opened up the zero uh, possibility. Uh, to we never even thought about he, giving anything. He to knows he's he's seen worse movies than this. <laughs> well, I, yeah, <laughs> I have. I've seen I've seen a lot of wor- I've seen movies worse than this that also would deserve zeros if we were discussing. Yeah. Them. So yeah, he just has lots of zeros. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Yeah. Hey man, I, I what was the zero what, I, um, the dark a dark yeah. song? I think I gave that like a one. And you guys were pissed off at me, but I was like, I had to, I had to treat it like a juggling act. And if you're a juggler and you drop the balls, you get a fucking one, right? I mean, <laughs> you certainly get an X on America's Got Talent. I know that much. 